Hello everyone, you are watching the Beautiful Planet channel. At the end of the 19th century, the world began to use oil tankers, merchant vessels specifically designed both for the transport of crude oil and petroleum products in bulk on oceans and waterways. To date, about 60% of all oil and petroleum products use this method of transportation. Today, we will tell you about the top 10 big crude oil tanker ships. Number 10. Boris Sokolov the vessel Boris Sokolov was built at Guangzhou Shipyard International in Guangzhou at the request of the Greek company Dynacom. Its naming ceremony was held on December 4, 2018. The length of the vessel is 214 meters and the breadth and current draft are 24 and 12.2 meters respectively, while the tanker's dead weight is 50,000 DWT. This vessel carries gas condensate and liquefied oil continuously throughout the year. Among other things, the Boris Sokolov is capable of operating at very low temperatures, below negative 50 degrees Celsius, and can independently overcome ice up to 1.8 meters thick. Number 9. SCF Prudencia the tankers from this series are equipped with modern two-hull Panamax carriers with a displacement of 74,120 tons. The Prudencia is 228 meters long, 32.2 meters wide, with a current draft of 10 meters. Its dead weight and gross tonnage are 74,565 DWT and 42,208 GT respectively. The vessel is capable of transporting up to 12 types of cargo at a time. The improved technical characteristics of this tanker comply with the international navigation safety standards and technical requirements of modern oil terminals. This tanker was delivered by the SCF Group on the 12th of March 2012 and targets a joint venture between SCF and Glencore International AG, which is the world's largest oil trader. The SCF Prudencia is currently under the flag of Liberia. Number 8. Yuri Kuchiev In April of 2019, the Arctec shipyard released an ice-class oil tanker Arc 7 Helsinki, which is equipped with deep-water Marflex pumps. The tanker hull is improved to ice Arc 7, allowing the vessel to overcome ice up to 1.8 meters thick in the first year during the winter and spring navigation seasons and in the second year during the summer and autumn seasons. Since the vessel is aimed at operating in low temperature climates, the Marflex company tested all pumping equipment at negative 60 degrees Celsius. The vessel is 229 meters long, the breadth is 32 meters, and its current draft is 9.1 meters. The tanker's dead weight is 44,000 DWT. This tanker is insured by a Russian natural gas producer to transport gas condensate from the port of Sabeta, which is located on the Yamal Peninsula in the Arctic region of Russia and aimed at various directions. The vessel is currently under the flag of Cyprus. Number 7. Gagarin Prospect on June 3, 2019, in Oslo, at the official opening ceremony, NOR Shipping 2019 received the Next Generation Ship 2019 Award. The Gagarin Prospect, owned by Sovkomflot, is the first tanker designed to run on LNG with raw materials Aframax. The total length of the vessel is 250 meters, the current draft is 15 meters, and the breadth is 44 meters. Dead weight and gross tonnage are 113,170 DWT and 64,909 GT respectively. This vessel is the lead in the green funnel series of the company Sovkomflot, which uses LNG as the main fuel with clean combustion, which has minimal impact on the environment. To date, the ship is sailing under the flag of Liberia. Number 6. Mikhail Lazarev On the 6th of October 2019, in Vladivostok, Sovkomflot held a naming ceremony for its last Arctic oil tanker, named after the famous Russian admiral and researcher who discovered Antarctica, Mikhail Lazarev. 
The total length of the vessel is 249 meters, the breadth is 34 meters, and the current draft is 9.5 meters. The tanker's dead weight is 41,012 DWT. This ship is the latest in a series of unique tankers designed to transport crude oil from across the northern sea route throughout the year. Since the ship is designed for year-round operations in the Arctic Basin, it is equipped with Ice Class Arc 7 and is able to independently overcome ice up to 1.8 meters thick and fully operate at temperatures down to negative 45 degrees Celsius. Number 5. Cap Quebec this tanker, designed to carry crude oil, was built in 2018. It was built with a double hull, preventing pollution by oil leakage in the event of an accident. The length of the vessel is 277 meters, the breadth is 48 meters, and the current draft is 10.2 meters. Dead weight and gross tonnage are 150,013 DWT and 82,099 GT, respectively. Oil tanker technology has high reliability and strength. On the deck of this ship, there are two electrohydraulic, high-pressure, non-auto-tension, split-type drum mooring windlasses supplied by Flutec. The vessel is currently under the flag of Greece. Number 4. Cap Corpus Christi This crude oil tanker was built in August of 2018. The total length of the ship is 277 meters, the breadth is 48 meters, and the current draft is 13.7 meters. The ship's dead weight is 157,000 DWT and the gross tonnage is 82,099 GT. The two-hull tanker is equipped with six pairs of cargo tanks and two prefabricated tanks. The hull is reinforced in accordance with the Finnish Swedish Ice Class IC and designed for 25 years of operation in the North Atlantic Basin among ice. In addition, the tanker is equipped with a covered bow area in order to prevent the accumulation of large amounts of ice on the front mooring section. This vessel is also capable of withstanding the very low temperatures and icy conditions of eastern Canada. It is currently under the flag of Greece. Number 3. Anne. This ship, a big crude oil tanker, was built in 2016 in South Korea. It is 333 meters long, 60 meters wide, and the current draft is 21 meters. The vessel's dead weight is 299,533 DWT and the gross tonnage is 154,380 GT. The tanker is equipped with a VSAT installation that provides a link to the shore, providing for not only business needs, but also the needs of the crew itself. In addition, the ship has such meters as shaft power and diesel generator power, as well as mass flow meter for all consumers. To date, the ship is under the flag of France. Number 2. Antigone On September 25, 2015, one of the largest oil tankers was built in South Korea. It is 333 meters long and 60 meters wide, with a slope of 16.3 meters. Dead weight and gross tonnage are 299,421 DWT and 154,379 GT, respectively. The vessel itself is under operation by the Belgian tanker company Euronav NV. The Antigone is registered under the flag of Greece. Number 1. TI Europe This tanker is the number one oil transporter in both gross tonnage and capacity. Dai Wu Shipbuilding and Marine Engineering built the vessel in 2003 at the Okpo Don Shipyard in South Korea. It is 380 meters in length with a molded beam of 86 meters and a depth of 34 meters. This largest oil carrier has a maximum depth of 24.5 meters when carrying a full load of 3.15 million barrels on board and a maximum capacity of 503,409 cubic meters. 
Its dead weight is 441,585 DWT, its gross tonnage is 234,006 GT, and its net tonnage is 162,477 NT. The owner of this tanker is the same Belgian company, Euronav NV. It sails under the flag of Belgium and is located in the home port of Antwerp. Thanks for watching! Leave your comments below and tell us which of the ships you liked the most. Remember to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss our upcoming videos.